India and other members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization will discuss energy security at the Regional Security Blocks meeting in Uzbekistan, India's Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra said on Thursday. The two-day summit will be attended by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Chinese Premier Xi Jinping, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Pakistan Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif, among others. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday embarked on a two-day visit to Uzbekistan's Samarkand city for a summit of the regional security group known as the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO. In a statement, he said at the SCO summit, I look forward to exchanging views on topical, regional and international issues. He said a number of decisions on trade, the economy, culture and tourism were expected to be taken at the summit. The SCO's permanent members are China, India, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan and Pakistan. Russia has already confirmed a bilateral meeting between President Putin and Modi, during which they are expected to talk about overall trade as well as sales of Russian fertilizers and mutual food supplies. Russia, the biggest oil producer in the SCO bloc, has also overtaken the United States to emerge as India's fourth largest coal supplier. And the two sides will discuss energy security, India's Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra said. Prime Minister will hold bilateral meetings with the President of Uzbekistan and some other leaders on the sidelines of the summit. PM's participation in this summit is a reflection of the importance that India attaches to the SCO and its goals. This is also tied to our approach and engagement with the region as a whole. As you are well aware, India hosted the first India-Central Asia Summit earlier this year. PM Modi will also come face to face with Chinese President Xi Jinping on Friday for the first time since deadly border clashes in 2020 freight ties between the Asian rivals. The event comes after Indian and Chinese soldiers this week disengaged at the remote Himalayan border in Ladakh after more than two years of a standoff.